visiting this beautiful Louis Vuitton store today. Look at how beautiful it is. It's probably one of the biggest ones. It's like a glass. It's the shape of a freaking boat or something. It's like on the river. I've never seen a prettier LV in my life. The wallpaper is LV. <laughs> They have a bag hook underneath the table. Oh yes. Yeah. We got some super food salad and a spicy chicken. Salad is so good. It's good salad. Good salad. Mm. We miss just eating regular stuff. We mm. eating too much Asian food lately. Can I put some sauce on it? Yeah. A bit of like, I don't know what that is. Avocado, Avocado. I think. Yeah. Either like a chip, right? <laughs> it's like chips. It's like a very fancy nacho. Mm. So good, right? It's a bit spicy, but it's good. It's tuna, right? Yeah, tuna. Time to taste the tuna. It's like <laughs> they're very minor. The flavors are like. Crazy. Not fishy at all. Not fishy at all, no. I'm not one for fishy and this is not that fishy. Cheers! This is the iconic beef wellington that we came here for. Yeah, I can't wait to try that. Wow. It comes with truffle mashed potato and honey carrot and the sauce. It smells amazing. I can absolutely smell like the mushrooms and stuff in there. It's cooked. The layer of mushroom in there. I get a little bit of everything. The meat is gonna fill me up so fast that I can feel it already. <laughs> the pastry is like really wavy and the meat is nice and soft and tender and the mushroom is kind of like a paste, almost like a pate kind of kind of taste. It's not like overly salty but there's like a very strong mushroom taste. And then the pastry is like perfect. First of all, you gotta put that Jew in there. Get that wine Jew. That is really good. The pastry is just so flaky. 
that when you think this big of a steak, it actually it cuts so well that it's not chewy as much as you think it would be. And the blend of it, it's almost like a pie, but like so mm -hmm. much more better than that. I'm really excited for this. I'm gonna try some honey carrots. Nice and soft. Probably needs a little bit more salt, but it's definitely sweet and has that like roasted kind of flavor. Can you try a bit of truffle? I love truffle. Very good truffle flavor as well. Again, needs a little bit more salt. I think that maybe undersalted everything because the flavor of this is so strong. So like together it's like really good. Um, but yeah, that's good with the truffle flavor. Chocolate fondant. Chocolate fondant. Let's open it up. Should freeze right out. Oh, look at that. Ooh, yes. Perfect ooze. delicious and I love eating this kind of stuff just as much as I love eating the more naughtier foods for sure and just like that it's our last day say goodbye to Singapore see you later Singapore I'm pretty excited to head back to Perth and get back to routine but we have pretty much one last day here we're headed to the Jewel Airport spend some time there because apparently it's a multi-million dollar airport um, mall thing. So we'll take you guys there. So we are all now checked in and we dropped our baggages and we're heading towards Jewel. So it's like a bunch of shops over here already, even before going into Jewel. So we got Lao Lao, which is like a Froyo place. We've got some Krispy Kreme. we got this durian place. Some extra gadgets that you can buy. I think this bakery is famous, it's like a Hong Kong Nike bakery. Oh, it looks really good. I'm trying to be good today, but I just want to show you guys what's here for you guys. But yeah, this is all what they sell. Traditional Hong Kong kind of like stuff. And Jewel is over there, so we're going to head there now. We have Tin Kai Fong over here, and that's a beautiful jewel waterfall over there. I'll be taking some photos. Ooh, lots of stuff. More babies. Tapas. The Nook Kitchen, which I think is a Thai place. So, yeah, um, even though jewel is pretty much like 
I guess, for people who have just arrived or waiting for their flights or transiting. Even if you're just Singaporean and you're not traveling, you're able to just come in here because it's before the departure. So, sushi. See, everyone literally just comes here to hang out. I think there's just like a bunch of shops and lots of places to eat. Sauerkraut fish. What is sauerkraut? Full-on IMAX theater here as well. So I'm trying to keep it clean, so I went to this place called Stuff to get um, like a little healthy bowl. This one, my bowl looks like I've got double chicken. We got some broccoli, um, lots of like veggies, like lots of veggies, a little bit of rice. He got it. He got the cinnamon scroll, and I bet he got it because he knew I wanted it. <laughs> he wanted me to have it. Jiggle. It actually looks pretty good. Nice and warm as well, just the way you like it. Cinnamon. Oh, look at that! Oh my goodness. I might grab uh... the two thicks. Yeah. Let's see you eat it like that. How is it? Is it better than Puffs? I'll only eat it if it's worth it and it's better than Puffs. <laughs> it tastes exactly how it should be. Nice and soft, very moist, exactly how it should be. I'm gonna have one layer. Make it count. Wow. It's <laughs> really good. Have it. One I feel more. Like it's more like moist than. Pepper. I think you have to have one more to figure out. Yeah, it's definitely like on a different level. Like. It's definitely on par with the cinnamon buns you get in us in America. Which I didn't actually have. Yeah, this tastes honestly probably about the same caliber. But like it's a lot more dense in America. Like in the very flavoring, like so much more. Not too much either. I think America is it was a bit too sweet. Yeah, this is perfect. I think you should have another one. She no. should have another one. Getting furrier now. It is massive. This for a year has no sugar added, but not gonna lie, we have added lots of sugar with the chocolate sauce and the biscuit cookies. But let's see how it tastes. No sugar added for you. It tastes just like a cheesecake. Like, not gonna even lie, it's so good. Mm. She's not gonna lie, guys. Not gonna She's lie. She's not gonna lie. It tastes like a cheesecake. Wow. How pretty! Wow, it's super misty as hell. You literally like can't say anything because it's so misty. But, oh my god. Bamboo 
beef jerky it's made out of pork not beef super famous so this is something you have to try if you haven't tried before i'll check this place yeah cooking museum what is this wow. oh my god there's an urban revival store here I normally order from them online, but it takes like 10 years to ship. So, I'm gonna check it out. <laughs> we also have the famous Shake Shack. I still haven't had Shake Shack, even though I've been to America. But if you want your Shake Shack fix, you can definitely get it here in Jewel. Also have a freaking Pokemon store. I haven't seen a Pokemon store literally anywhere apart from Japan. Pikachu. All right, so we spent a couple of hours in Jewel. Now we've went through the gates and we're through to the official duty-free area. So this is, you have to obviously have a boarding pass and whatnot to come through here. This is where our gates and stuff are gonna be. And guess what is right in front of me? Hello, Louis Vuitton. Up there we got Dior and Chanel up there as well. We got some lovely chocolates. Yeah. What are the odds of Louis Vuitton being the first thing I see the moment I walk in? We have a Bagari right here. I'm obviously not going to be buying anything from Bagari, but um, in future, or if anyone is in the market to get some jewelry, it's always really good to get it from Didi Free. So it's good to know that we have a good Bagari over here. Burberry here. And down there we got Saint Laurent and Hermes as well. And it's really good to buy jewelry if you're looking for it. Okay, what? Um, Prada, Gucci down there as well. Um, Alexander McQueen, my favorite Balenciaga. I got some Marc Jacobs. You know what, the tote bag is starting to grow on me. I kinda like it. The way, way. Chloe. Coffee fan, they have like a drip. Famous drip coffee, Bacha coffee. Okay. I might buy some. Cause why not? Got some bougie ass coffee. I can't wait to try. Long black game strong. Turns out there isn't actually a Chanel, it's just like a little makeup uh, counter thing and a bunch of other brands. And then there's like a special private area for Chanel if you make like a pre-booking or something. But it also again just for like makeup and stuff like that. So, so far um, all the shops here yeah, mainly sell like bags and lots of perfume and makeup. Um, Maybe a little bit of shoes, but not much like clothes and stuff like that. So yeah, Balenciaga had some bags and shoes, but um, no clothes, which was what I was trying to look at. But yeah, anyways, didn't buy anything. So that's good. I bought like one top from Urban Reviver. So mission save money is a success. So yeah, Urban Reviver. And obviously I got my bougie bacha coffee. I'm so excited to try it. It's just, it's just so bougie and also it smells freaking amazing and I want to keep up with my drinking of long blacks even though I'll be like post comp and whatnot like I definitely still want to be drinking long blacks because there's no reason to add extra calories and whatnot so at least it'll be something nice. So 
I came to the end of my trip. I'm just at the gate right now. I'm waiting to board. Probably, yeah, I mean, it's like five, five o'clock and the flight leaves at like 6.45. So we still have a while. I'm just chilling here. So I just wanted to chat with you guys, wrap up the vlog, just give you a little bit of an update. So I am two kilos up from my one day out weight, which is what I'm pretty much gonna be using as my weight. So I've been hovering at 43-ish all through peak week, and then it's only on show day where I dropped to 42.5. So if we count my 42.5 weight, then I am like two and a half kilos up, um, but I'm just gonna go with 43 is my general weight because anyways I think I would have carved up to like 43 by the time I jumped on stage and whatever and I was holding 43 so I would say my average is 43 so yeah we're two kilos up it's been probably five days of relaxed eating so obviously Saturday post show went pretty crazy but I was very controlled on the dessert which is something that is like haven't done before um in the past usually the dessert is where like you know it was really bad for me but anyways um yes yeah, so we went a little bit crazy on saturday night post show sunday i think i was pretty good i think in general um i've been pretty okay this few days um i'd like i said i have gained a bunch of weight but at least I didn't make myself feel sick. Um, I didn't like binge on any one thing. I just have very like curious taste buds. So I like to like try and taste a lot of different things. And then I just be like, I don't want it anymore. You know, so but at the end of the day, calories are still calories and they all add up. But the most important thing is like, I didn't binge on snacks and all that kind of stuff. So I guess that I've done this a lot. So doing those things are very normal and common. But again, luckily for me, um, this time again, I've been intuitively eating and of course I've gained some weight, um, but the things I wanted to stay away from, I've managed to stay away from. Like I said, I didn't want to binge, I didn't want to feel sick and I didn't want to eat to the point where I was so, so stuffed, I couldn't breathe um, because I've done that many, many times all through my fitness career. Like I've been doing this for like eight years now. As many times I was so full, I couldn't breathe. I had to like lay down on the bed. I couldn't move and breathe. <laughs> It was like really intense. I can eat a lot if I choose to stuff myself. But this time I just ate till I was full, till I was satisfied. A lot of times I ate till I was still not satisfied, but I stopped. So um, I think mentally it's been it's been a good few intuitive days. But I'm excited to go back to eat my normal foods. Like I'm really excited to go back to Perth and get back into routine and everything. I think I will cut for perhaps four to five days. So I'll put myself back on lower calories or even like back, literally back eating clean. Like I don't even really wanna do the calories or macros. Like I was on a meal plan before I left anyway. So I wanna eat like on a similar sort of meal plan. So we'll still be doing the macros, but we'll eat those kind of same foods. We'll keep it clean. And then, um, cause I have a lot of people to catch up with still. So I'm saving all my free meals and calories for when I'm catching up with people. I'm very glad that like this particular trip, like I've been, most of the dinners are because I've been having family dinners, catching up with people. And I guess that's how I was able to kind of control myself, but make sure that the calories were worth it as well. It's not just about eating. It's good to get your mind away from like being so food focused and enjoying the eating and the food and the moment with your people and your friends. And um, that's a good way to kind of like, you know, manage the pressure and all that kind of stuff. So obviously it's not ideal to have, you know, not counted a single macro for like five days. Um, but I needed this break and I've been counting macros for so long. I kind of knew how much I'm eating. I probably ate around 2.5 to 3K calories a day. I still try to sneak in a bunch of like healthy, healthier options. And of course I still focus on getting my protein in and I focus on not overloading too much on overly oily and junk food. Um, yeah, I still wanted to enjoy the Singaporean cuisine and whatnot, which is not very healthy, obviously. But stayed away from fast foods and stuff like that. Yeah, generally that was what I've been doing. So we'll see how we go the next few days. I will take you guys along with me for my reverse diet journey slash my next four to five day mini cut. We'll see how it goes. And just update you because I know a lot of you struggle with post comp and a lot of you, you know, this is a hard time when you finish competing and maybe some of you experience post show blues or whatever. 
and for me since i don't really even know where my next show is it's hard to obviously like stay as focused as obviously i was prior because i knew that like you know after new york i was still going to be competing so yeah i didn't gain much weight through my new york and sydney trip but yeah so this time's a little bit different but i'm excited to see What's gonna happen and again today i've done pretty well i think i had a pineapple bun and a slice of bread this morning with one egg and three egg whites black coffee and then after that for lunch i had that bowl obviously that you saw a healthy bowl lots of protein um a little bit of that cinnamon bun treat myself and then that low sugar um and that's pretty much all I've had today. Um, I will probably eat a little bit of plain food because I probably will get hungry. And then, yeah, call it a day. And tomorrow, hopefully, get some cardio in, get back on my clean eating. And I really hope to drop a kilo. And then I will probably reverse from there. So, yeah, that's the plan. Thank you guys so much for all your support, all your love, all your good vibes. And again, anyone who's met me in person this trip, so grateful for you. Um, every time I meet someone that comes up to me and tells me they watch my videos, like it really warms my heart. I will keep working hard to pump out a lot of content for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this little mixture of me showing you how I live normally, but I'm um, still very much focused on my goals and still, you know, um, I'm still human, but I'm still a pro and I still take this very seriously and I still want to go find this sport. So, you know, we can't go all too crazy, but we want to live a little, enjoy life and enjoy the moments. So, Thank you guys for watching. Um, if you like the video, please like the video and I will catch you guys in the next one.